Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Is it true that there are five rightly great Khalifas, the fifth being Hazreti Hussein radiallahu anhu? Khulafai Rashidin, I'm saying Khulafai Rashidin, rightly guided, or not rightly great, okay, because there are so many other great Khalifas that came after Khulafai Rashidin, amongst the Umawis, amongst the Abbasis, uh, amongst the Ottomans and all the other kingdoms that may come here and there. There are so many great sultans and great khalifas that comes. But Khulafa Rashidin, he's saying Hazrat Hussein. Fifth is Hazrat Hassan. Is not Hazrat Hussein. Hazrat Hussein ran away from that. Hazrat Hassan is older than him. And Hazrat Hassan was the Khalifa that ruled for six months. And because Holy Prophet also said, This is my grandson, he is going to be the cause of mending, stopping bloodshed between my nation, amongst my nation. Hazrat Hassan, after Hazrat Ali, Waj, he was assassinated, he became the Khalifa six months. Then after that, because he sees, if I continue with this, then there's going to be a great bloodshed, a great fitna that the enemies of Islam already entered amongst those ones there. Even during the time of Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Usman, it entered. He says, if I hold on to this, this fitna is not going to stop. This fitna is going to get even worse. That's the time I'm going to pull back. That's the time Hazrat Hassan is saying, I give up from this Hilafat, I gave it to Hazrati Muawiyah. Hazrati Muawiyah. His son, Yazid, may do so many wrong things. That's his son. It's not him. If you're going to judge the son by the father, then you're going to judge Nuh alayhi salam because of Nuh alayhi salam. You're going to judge Nuh alayhi salam because of his son. His son disobeyed him, isn't it? Then you're going to judge Adam alayhi salam by uh, Kabil, you cannot. Now, the fifth one was Hazrati Hassan, and he gave up from that Khilafat, so they didn't crush each other. Hazrati Hussein, he left the Hijaz to go. He did not go, as people are saying. To Baghdad, to that area there, to declare himself a Khalifa. No, he did not. He ran away from tyranny. He went to make hijrat. He went to completely remove himself from all this confusion. Him and his family. And his destination was not Karbala. His destination was much, much more beyond that. His planning was much, much more beyond those years, not five, ten, hundred years beyond that because he knows Allah's plan for the Ahir Zaman and he was preparing to bring his family to prepare them for the events that's going to come in the Ahir Zaman. So, so many things are confused. People may say, oh, what is he saying? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He has no permission to speak. Da, da, I don't need your permission. I only need my Sheikh's permission. And I didn't ask him permission to speak. He ordered me to speak. I don't want to talk. It's better for me <laughs> to pull myself away and to do my own thing, believe me. But he's ordering me to do it. And it pleases him. So who cares what I think? Who cares what I feel? So I have to do it. And it gives me peace to do it, alhamdulillah. And if there's anything that needs to be said, that I'm saying wrongly, he's going to smack me. Not you, not anyone else. He's powerful enough, may he not smack me. I'm not asking for that. But I'm just saying that I'm not off the hook too, for everyone to understand. So, uh, we are waiting for Hazrat Hussein to come back anyway. We are waiting for Hazrat Ali, waiting for so many other ones to come back for the big war that is going to happen. That's why we're sitting at the top of a mountain, not disturbing anyone, uh, trying to worship and trying to bring ourselves closer to Allah. So, 
it's a long story if you want to talk about whatever happened during the events of that great fitna that happened but certain foundations have to be laid and we are not interested in opinions okay you may say oh Shia have the one story Ahli Sunnah have one story, Kharijis have one story, historians have one story, uh, the Orientalists have one story, the Liberty... Uh, so many people have stories. We're not interested in their stories. We're interested in what has been handed down since the time of the Prophet wasalam, through 40 grand sheikhs in a golden chain. That's what we're interested in. We don't care for nothing else because we lived our lives, major part of our lives, considering each and every story, considering each and every angle too. We came from that tradition of looking at everything, not denying everything, and is not bringing us any closer to Allah, is not bringing us closer to ourselves, is not giving us anything. And we say, now is the time to listen to Allah and His beloved ones. We did, and Alhamdulillah, peace is entering into us. We understand our vision is clearer, and our faith gets stronger. So, for those other things, another opportunity is going to come, inshallah, for us to enter into that. Some foundations have to be laid before we start building up about what happened in that big confusion. Wa min Allahu tafiq al-Fatiha.